Georgia. South Caucasus Mountains, a fairy tale landscape where shepherds stay with their cattle for the longest time of their life. In this expedition, we will tell you the life of the shepherd in Georgia. How is their daily routine? and aboriginal dog that guard the cattle from predator attacks. This is a study expedition for aboriginal shepherd dog in Georgia and lifestyle of Georgian shepherd. It is spring, 6 a.m. in the morning. Up in the mountains, the shepherds are in the sheepfold and milking the sheep. This is how they start the day. Mountains are green with the grass. We are in Pusheti. Pusheti is the region traditional for sheep herders. Sheep and cattle breeding is the leading branch of the economy in highland of Tusheti. The local shepherds spend the summer months in highland areas of Tusheti, but live in the lowland village of Zemo Alvani and Kenvo Alvani in winter time. Horse play the transportation part in the livestock. A bitch has given birth few days ago. She is feeding her puppy with the breast milk. It is an aboriginal shepherd dog from Georgia. And seven newborn puppies. The new generation of guardian of livestock is coming. She is not feeling comfortable and she is walking away. Puppy are at least one week old, no more. A friendly calf is approaching to us. It is one month old and very curious. Shepherd has built this camp for livestock, which they use in the spring and summer season. They have everything they need here. Everything is improvised. All necessary items are brought with transport animals here. This room is used as a dairy. In this small room they turn milk into the cheese, which is very famous. The milk goes through several processes before it mature and turn into the famous Gouda cheese. A black female with two puppies is outside the camp. The puppies are playing together and enjoy the light of the sun. Local people call those dog Nagazi, or better know Aboriginal Shepherd Dog of Georgia. They are like a treasure. They serve in those land for thousands of years. They protect the livestock for a long period of time. They are nomadic shepherd. Nagazi in Georgia it means Volkodav. Volkodav is in Russia and in English translate as a wolf crusher. A group of shepherds are transporting wood to the camp. Wood is very important in the livestock and especially when they are up in the mountain. They use wood to reconstruct the camp. They use wood for the fire, to warm, to cook. 
everything is green in this season and this is very productive season for the livestock the meadow are green with grass there is plenty of food for the cattle here next morning a dog pack is outside the camp they are livestock guardian dog all young and very friendly they are aboriginal working dog of georgia characteristic of them is athletic body which make them very agile and important for livestock they are strong link of livestock and considered by georgian as a treasure with full meaning of the word those working dog has escorted livestock in those mountains for thousands of years. They are original dog of Caucasus, the authentic stereotype of Caucasian shepherd dog. Their main task is to chase away wolves and bear from the sheep. Georgian shepherd also uses the guardian dog to protect property. Georgian Shepherd tend to be assertive, brave and alert. Polymorphism is characteristic in those dogs because they are aboriginal one. Ears usually are traditionally cropped. They have sharp looking eyes and triangular head shape like the wolf but with a short muzzle this is the short hair tape of aboriginal people call it differently as a lion tape and this is considered as the oldest tape of aboriginal shepherd dog in georgia We are going to the tents, which are built of wood and covered with plastic to isolate from the rain. There are kitchen dishes that shepherd need. Tent looks more like improvising a warehouse for storing different food. Fire is always inside the tent when the shepherds stay. They cook here. This is how it look a guzin in the mountain conditioning. It is original nomadic cuisine. Outside there are other tents with food and items stored from the rain and sun. A black female with two puppy will stay outside the tent and will not leave. Other dogs are waiting for the sheep to go to pasture. The shepherds are in the sheepfold. They are milking the sheep. This process will, will continue two times per day, in the morning and in the afternoon. After fermentation of the milk, the shepherd adding the rennet which causes a reaction that turns milk into the curds. Next, draining the whey. The whey is draining, leaving only a mate of cheese curd.
The shepherd squeezes the curd to extract the excess water. This is famous Tushuri Gouda cheese, which take the name from the sheepskin sack, in which the raw milk cheese is traditionally ripened. The skin is turned inside out, so the wool is in direct contact with the ripening cheese. Archaeological evidence suggests that the sheep cheese made in a similar way existed in present-day Georgia as long as 6,000 years ago, and the particular native breed of Tusheti sheep, on which relies for its unique and richness, flower and aroma, has been continuously raised and grazed on the lush mountain grass here for almost 1,000 years. In the Gouda, the cheese are aged for minimum of 60 days. The meal came from the native breed of Tusheti sheep, call it for the ethnic group Tush, who have long raised animal in this area. Milk yield for the breed is relatively low, with only about one glass of milk each day. This is the reason why this cheese is rare. This was the last day of the expedition in Tusheti. We must leave. It was a great place and a great people. The shepherd gave us two good cheese as a sign of respect. We have to get down on foot to the car. We have a long way to get back home after a wonderful expedition. Tusheti is border with the system of high mountains of the Great Caucasus, which greatly influenced the microclim of Tusheti depression. It is being manifested by warm alpine climb and precipitation. It is the very climate that determines diversity, wealthy and fertility of the territory's flora and herbage.